Embodiment is an exhibition by three artists who can hold their own as individuals. Now they join forces to showcase their recent body of works in Lagos. Three contemporary artists, Shinzo Jobo, Abraham Uyobisere, and Owemi Heyman, have come together to display their recent paintings, mixed media, wood panel, and drawing works of art in this show titled Embodiment, held in Lagos. about embodiment of um, colors, embodiment of experience, embodiment of expression. When you look at the words, the, the, the artists are not scared to express themselves. When you look at Mr. Ogwemi's um, paintings, he does a lot of um, ape and um, bananas, you see fruits. He, that, he shows to use um, ape to, uh, to express himself. White Chains of Jobo, you see she does a lot of um, woodworks. She experiments a lot. Then she introduced the black and white series. That's um, um, life choices, which they are up there. So embodiment is all about the colors, the styles, um, the medium, the um, expression, the way they chose to express themselves. works that done you know various themes we dealt on different themes covering you know different subjects we brought it together you know usually for exhibitions as a theme and everybody works oh uh, maybe a cry in this or that but this particular one everybody created their own theme and we all came together physically so that's what we call the embodiment there are things you can physically touch they are tactile they are real it's not online it's physical exhibition so that's what this one is a collection of artworks by three Nigerian artists Regardless of their difference in expressions, techniques and subject matters, the viewers enjoy the variety which is a spice of life while navigating through the intriguing images on display which explore diverse themes. Art is a reflection of what people have been thinking of and what people have been feeling about. So this is a rare chance for an, an outsider of Nigeria to see how Nigerian artists are doing about what they're thinking about and what their philosophy is. And today is a very rare occasion because this is a female artist association, but you have two men, I mean male artists, joining together. That reflect how Nigeria, the equality of Nigeria's gender, had reflected into this particular exhibition. So I really admire how the female art association combining the male artists coming together. When a society that has male and female joining hand in hand to do artwork or to do art exhibition, that means the society move on together. No topic is off the table as the artists look at issues with their different strokes. People always ask me, you know, you work on, you use apes to depict, you know, wide views of apes, and I tell them, well, I'm just flipping it. We, as human, we claim to have superior thinking, and we always give these animals, you know, lesser attributes, say they, they don't, their thinking is not as superior as, as ours. But if you look at it, they are organized. It's the way nature has, you know, put them. 
Uh, when you now look at the flip side, we humans that are supposed to be the superior thinkers, my immediate environment, take Nigeria for example, we are blessed with enormous resources and yet we are not doing anything with it. human forms, animal forms and all as visual satire, which is what the public is even yet to call, uh, come to terms with, you know, emotions around them, uh -huh, but I use them as visual satire as in how exposed the nudies or how the strains of the horses to reflect. Uh, they explain the beauty and matters in the pieces exhibited. acrylic on uh, carved wood. This particular work I call the bullseye. And bullseye is in life, whatever you're looking for, you have to aim for the best. You have to work hard to get to be the best. And you know, a lot of people just do things, you know, like just for doing sake. You're working, you're working for working sake. You're working because you're getting money. But if you do something with passion, if you do something because you love that, if you do something because you want to make a difference, it's brings a different result. So when I say bullseye, when, because when you want to shoot an arrow, you don't just oh, close your eyes and just shoot carelessly. You have to look on your eyes, you have to look, and you have to aim very well. Same as if you want to do business. You have to be sure of what you're doing. You have to be whatever you want to do in life. You take exams, you know, do take your life to the next level. You have to really, really aim well, look deep, do your studies well, be sure, then uh, position your bow and arrow well and shoot. And like that, you have good results. So basically, it's how to be the best. These three contemporary artists embody experience, skill, and creativity.